Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Red Barn Radio. I'm Renee Collins. This is the first program of Red Barn Radio's 18th broadcast season, and it is Red Barn Radio's 663rd live concert performance. <laughs> Tonight, we present the Blue Crawl Dads. Andy Messer and Daryl Harper's band came together through Union College and a pop-up nightclub called the Crawl Dad Club. Recruiting Jesse Barton on bass and Keith Green on drums, the Blue Crawdads were born. With an earthy mixture of blues soul and rock and roll with a sprinkle of funk and a hint of mountain music. Welcome the Blue Crawdads to the Red Barn stage. Thank you, we're gonna do one about what we're always trying to achieve. This is called Too Much Weekend. On my way to work, dollar draft tape to dance until it hurts. A too much weekend. Well, it's a shame the shape I'm in. Too much weekend. to sleep, too tired to get up, but ain't no way to be, it sure does suck. A too much weekend, well it's a shame, the shape I'm in, too much weekend, oh yeah. Leaving the wheel, thank God the road straight. Another weekend, not a minute too late. A too much weekend. Well, it's a shame the shape I'm in. Too much weekend. A too much weekend. A too much weekend. A too much weekend. A too much weekend. Well, it's a shame. The shape I'm in, too much weekend. Good to see you, Red Barn. Welcome to Red Barn Radio. Wherever in the world you're listening, welcome to the music of Kentucky. The stations listed on Red Barn Radio's main page and many others also stream Red Barn Radio to your computers and portable listening devices. Visit Lex, Lexington, Kentucky's Convention and Visitors Bureau. Planning a visit to Lexington or just looking for more information, Visit Lex is on the web at visitlex.com. We're more than just bluegrass. Red Barn Radio is brought to you with the help of the folks at LexArts, who provide Red Barn Radio with this great performance hall and also oversee and develop a wide range of programming initiatives. We also thank their president and CEO, Nan Plummer. LexArts, creating a great American city inspired by the arts. We'd like to thank Chef Craig Scott and Broussard's Delta Kitchen for supplying food each week for our guests, artists, and volunteers. Located on Main Street in historic Georgetown, Kentucky, Broussard's Delta Kitchen features the authentic flavors of New Orleans and the Mississippi Delta and live music every weekend. Listen locally. Working in concert to encourage everyone to embrace any opportunity to listen locally and engage with each other in a variety of shared experiences, including music, theater, poetry, dialogue, and conversation. 
You can learn more about Listen Locally on Facebook, Instagram, and at listenlocally.net. The Griffin Gate Marriott Resort and Spa is Red Barn Radio's guest accommodation partner, providing hotel accommodations for our musical guests. The Griffin Gate Marriott Resort and Spa is the ideal choice for your next visit to Lexington, Kentucky. Remember, you can follow Red Barn Radio on Twitter and hopefully like us on Facebook. Now here again is the host of Red Barn Radio to tell you more about tonight's performance. In the nearly five years the Blue Crawdads have existed as a band, they produced three EPs, a live album, and a CD single, recorded live at the Crawdad Club, which featured mandolin virtuoso Virgil Bowling. Daryl Harper and Andy Messer have played in bands and written songs together on and off for 34 years. Daryl also produces the Blue Crawdads recordings. Jesse Barton played in the bluegrass band, the Davis Benders, before joining the Blue Crawdads. Keith Green has performed throughout the USA with artists such as Sonny Gunn, Laser Lloyd, the Tar Shack Revival, and Seed. Let's get back to the music and welcome the Blue Crawdads live here on the Red Barn stage. Thank you so much. Here's one from our Take You There EP. This is called A Good Time Looks Good On You. Black dress, honey, sexy pair of shoes. Don't need no high heel sneakers, ain't got no walking blues. Cabs already coming, city lights are bright. We're gonna drink and dance, stay out all night. Money in my pocket, well, you know it's true. I just can't help thinking. Good time looks good on you. All kinds of music down on Frenchman Street. Get a little hungry, honey. Get something good to eat. A hurricane are gonna get us high. Won't come down to sweet by and by. Gonna have us a big time. The last thing we do, I just can't deny. A good time looks good on you.
Thank you so much from our Live Straight from the Mud album. This one's called Good Lovin' Is My Business. Good lovin' is my business I don't charge a dime Good lovin' is my business I don't charge a dime well, I don't make no money I have a real good time well, I got the stuff you need, honey it's never out of stock I got the stuff you need It's never out of stock My open sign stays lit up Seven days around the clock Come on now Credit card, you ain't running up no bill. Well, you don't need no credit card, huh? You ain't running up no bill. I promise expert service, I guarantee you the real. Good loving is my business, I don't charge a dime. Loving is my business, but I don't charge a dime. I don't make no money. I have a real good time. I don't make no money. I have a real good time. I don't make no money, huh? I have a real good time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going to do a number. Uh, I should say, I guess this is standard on Red Barn Radio, but all, all the songs that we're doing tonight uh, have been written from within the band. Uh, some of us are all of us. And we appreciate the chance to do our own songs. We really do. This is one, uh, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you all being willing to listen to them, too. Um, this is one uh, Daryl wrote for, again, our, our latest EP, which is called Take You There. This is a song called Three Little Words. Something on my mind No worries, baby You know it ain't bad news Just something I gotta share, girl I need to tell you my 
not to be told No more hiding No more shame There ain't no surprise in What I'm gonna say Thank you so much. We're going to do you one more off of the new EP for the moment. Um, and this is one where uh, our uh, songwriting process varies a fair amount. And uh, Daryl and I, in particular, sort of came to the band with a backlog of original songs that we had each written. But uh, the way we most commonly write them now is that Daryl makes instrumental demos. And he sends them to me, and I write lyrics. Or sometimes he does the music and the lyrics. And then uh, Jesse back there on the bass and Keith back there on the drums. We take it to them and then they make it way better than what we had made it to start with. But this is, this is one of those like that. And this is called Somebody Told Me. Thank you. 
pardon me, equipment malfunction. It's in there somewhere. Somebody told me long ago There ain't no easy road Somebody warned me So much trouble ahead That's just the way it goes Somebody said, boy, you're bound yourself alone Somebody picked me up and carried me When I was weary to the bone Somebody told me Don't trust the soul They'll only let you down Someone will hurt you the deep inside and drag your heart around. I used to believe no one could see and no one could hear. But somebody heard me when I called out. Somebody wiped away my tears Nobody told me you were in this world That you'd have mercy on me But nobody told me one woman's love Would finally set me free Somebody told me so many lies Tried to bring my spirit low Now somebody tells me I've got the love I need And I can let my heartaches go Somebody tell me Somebody let me know Now tell me Oh, somebody got to let me know You got to tell me let me, let me, let me, let me know You got to tell me Somebody tell me Oh, please let me know You got to tell me Somebody tell, tell me. me Somebody let, let me, me know. know You got to tell me Somebody tell me Oh, Somebody baby, got to let me, me know. know You got to tell me Somebody tell me Somebody let me Tell me, 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 tell me
Somebody tell me. Thank you. It's hard to tell when that one's over. Here's Red Barn Radio's Brad Becker. Is that what you were saying at the end? Somebody tell me when, yeah, when this, it's over. When it's over. So, somebody <laughs> tell me when it ends. <laughs> you left it. It was just nice. I yeah. like that. I Thank like you. that. Hey, folks, if you're just tuning in with this, you are listening to Red Barn Radio. I hope you know that. And um, we are shaking some Red Barn booty here tonight with the uh, Blue Crawdads. And, and uh, looking forward to getting to know them tonight. They're going to play a lot of music. We're going to have some conversation. And um, great to have you guys here. Thank you. Really liking the music. Hey, I wonder, uh, Daryl and Andy, you seem to be the roots that grew this thing it true uh yeah i guess you could say that right he, uh, uh, he and i have known each other a long time 30 yeah 34 years where'd you where'd you meet and how we met at union college uh where we were both students i was a senior and you were a freshman yeah and um we met and i think within a uh, couple months played our first gig together and uh I haven't played music all the time since then, but off and on. Yeah, well, what, what were you doing at Union College? Where is Union College, exactly? Where is it, Darrell? Where is that, Darrell? Yeah, uh, Union College is located in Barberville, Kentucky. Okay, gotcha. It's right down there by the Cumberland Gap. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, good. And, and why did you, how did you both end up going to school there? What for? What did they do at Union uh, College? I'm originally from Barberville. Okay. And, and that's just where I decided to go to college. Um, I don't know Andy's story, how he ended up there, but that's that's where I ended up yeah, but going what, to college. Like what kind of uh, program did you enter well, into? Well, I started out as uh, pre-engineering um, and ended up just getting mathematics degree, physics degree. Oh, uh, but simple physics, simple mathematics, physics, mathematics degree. Mathematics, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Nothing, not a big deal at all. <laughs> Nothing yep. that I'm using today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, and uh, what, what my, you, my parents were from Knox County, the Barville area originally. I grew up in Harlan County, but uh, and my parents had both gone to Union, so uh, I just followed them, I guess. Yeah. Hey, tell tell folks uh, who are listening who don't who aren't familiar with that area, the rich history of that area. Would you mind just talking for 20 or 30 minutes about some of the history of that? You don't know how, how dangerous a request that was. <laughs> now tell, <laughs> yeah, lay, lay a, you know, a paragraph worth on us of history hmm. from that area. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's the Appalachian part of Kentucky. It's on the, the Cumberland Plateau. And um, again, over where I grew up in Harlan County, uh, by Eastern U.S. standards, pretty big mountains. Barberville, not so much, but uh, the whole area has a history of, of course, coal mining, farming, um, all sorts of things. It's rural, small towns. Um, the community where I grew up, actually, before I was born, had been a coal camp. It wasn't uh, wasn't an active coal camp when I lived there, but um, it's uh, it's definitely a place that kind of gets in your blood. In fact, we're going to, after, after this round of interviews, we're going to sing a song about it. But uh, Oh, all right. But, yeah, yeah what did your parents do there? Um, they were, they're both school teachers. Uh, my mother's still alive, but my father's passed, but they're, uh, they're retired school teachers. Huh. Yeah. And, and what about you, Daryl? What did your family do? How did your family come to, to settle in that area? It's, it's their hometown. It's where they grew up as well, uh, living on the home place. You know, so to speak, uh -huh. uh, just moved a, a plot over and, and built a house there. Uh, they grew up in the town. Uh, my mom still lives there. Uh, my dad's passed away, but yeah, she's still there and, and kind of a cornerstone of, of Barberville. Everyone knows her. She's worked in grocery stores for 30 or 40 years as a cashier, and everybody beelines to her line because she's the best cashier, hands down. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is she listening tonight? Is she listening? I Any hope chance? so. I, I sent her, I I mean, sent her the big. link, 
and I think she, she can follow it from there. So. That's all you can do is That's you can, can send do. them the link yeah. and just hope yeah. they'll yeah. <laughs> and hope they'll follow it. Right. Wow. Uh, very neat. Um, so, you know, our stock and trade at Red Barn tends to be um, groups of, of players who are developing, n not necessarily uh, musically personally, but just as bands. They're trying to sort of determine who they are as a band. You guys seem to um, sort of be clear about that, about what you do and, you know, sort of what direction you want your music to go. Um, is that, um, is that a, a kind of a good place to be at this point? Or can you remember a time when, when you were, uh, Andy, sort of uh, thinking, oh, do I want to do rock or do I want to do... Well, I can, I can actually remember the first band that Daryl and I were in uh, having not quarrels, but uh, pretty opinionated uh, conversations about, well, what, what direction are we going to take? And we've actually, we've played in, over the years, uh, rock bands. We were in a, actually, come to think of it, maybe shouldn't tell this story. We were part of the house band of a uh, country uh, country music band of a bar here in Lexington probably 25 years ago. And uh, the uh, the last night we played there, our lead singer got stabbed dur <laughs> during the gig. Uh, but I mean, we've, <laughs> we've played in country bands, rock bands, a gospel band or two, uh, sort of a backed up a singer-songwriter for a while. Um, but yeah, we kind of We've sort of been around and around what to do, but blues is what seemed to stick. You want to you want to take a stab at that? I don't know if I gave a very good answer to that. Yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a great question and a, a good answer. I mean, <laughs> I, I think I think that it's I, I think that it's um, not necessarily a specific type of music that we like. We listen to everything and anything, you know. So it to me, it's all just kind of pulling from what you listen to, what your influences are on that day, uh, you know, uh, as opposed to it being a specific type of music. Um, I think the, the blues part of it is just part of everything. And so it kind of comes out in, uh -huh. in things that we do. And probably the biggest influences are in that, you know, area. Yeah, right. But, but, but we listen to everything and anything. And so what did you guys do with Virgil Bolin? We we did a, a, a closer he was on this show. Yeah, yeah. We did a we did a song, uh, a closer walk with thee with him. We did an arrangement, and uh, Andy's got a he does like a little house party, and uh, he, Virgil showed up with his mandolin, and we asked him to sit in, and you know, it was magic. You know, it's one of those occasions where we just got through and felt this was wonderful this is why we want to do this is for those moments wow. where we connect with each other and we're actually listening to the wh what's happening you know uh, so it was, it was it was great wow and it was yeah. a, and you did it you did it sort of as a as a blues did you do it as a blues band? and what was the instrumentation right. when when you made when that happened that that's yeah sort of it was it was the it. instrumentation that you see here ah. with virgil on mandolin and it was more it was more of a wow. new orleans traditional type of arrangement uh, but with Virgil, you know, on top of that, so. And so, um, I can't wait to hear that. I, I, cause I, I did, I did read something about that somewhere in, in all of this. Um, where, how could listeners hear that? It's on YouTube. <laughs> really? So you can, yeah. So you can look up the Blue Crowd Ads uh, YouTube channel and it's on there. All right. That's the actual performance itself. I mean, it's a static camera, but, um, this is, as Daryl said, this is uh, kind of a pop-up nightclub thing that we do basically at my house, my wife's house. And um, uh, Virgil attends frequently. He plays there pretty frequently. He hasn't been there in a while, but he used to mm -hmm. play there pretty frequently. And um, we were doing a, like a Mardi Gras party. And uh, that's a, in addition to being a well-known gospel standard, it's a yeah. New Orleans thing too. Yeah, right. And so we just kind of did it. New Orleans style and virtual pitch tried in and we happen to happen to be uh, recording off the board and have the video camera going so you can see it on YouTube. Wow wow it gives me the chills thinking that sounds great so that that was down in Barberville yeah. though yeah. okay um, say so I didn't take time to, to look it up but I know I have read lots of um, lots of people talking about 
you know, what it takes to play blues right, what it, what it takes to play blues good. Um, I was thinking that it could be kind of interesting for me to hear you all talk about that from the point of view of your respective instruments. Um, you're all great blues players, and, and, and just every song you have going, there's, there's that groove there, and I'm not sure if we know exactly where it comes from. Do you think each of you could take a, take a shot at that, talking a little bit about what it is that makes blues work? Who's going to start? Let's start with Keith. Let's say, yeah, what, yeah. Let's start from the very beginning. Yeah, uh, right. Hey, Keith is Keith Green is back on the drums. Thanks for making it happen back there. It sounds oh, great. You guys make it easy. Man, <laughs> you're a good singer too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, what, what's your take on that, Keith? So, so for me, when it comes to blues, um, just like a good pot of gumbo, right? It's like it's take these individual ingredients. You take the ingredients and you put it all together. And you can't mess with it. You kind of let it stew. You gotta let it just sit. And that's what a lot of times I know with the crawdads or a lot of blues that I love. The uh, the rhythm section will let that that rip that beat and that rhythm and the, the dynamics and all those different things just sit sit there. Maybe uh, some someone's dashing some ingredients like that, like uh, Daryl on the on the solos or something like that, or you know Andy on when he's singing. You know and the, the lyrics; those are the little extras. But for the most part, it's everything's just sitting together and giving time to let it, you know, kind of, well, I wouldn't call it marinating because it's not what you do before. But once you put it in the pot and you let it stew, then that's, that's blues. That's blues. And it's, it's, a, it's emotional. It's physical, you know. It, it encompasses so much of music. And it doesn't matter which genre we, we might label something, all of it really can come down to the blues. Yeah, and so how does that express itself um, as in your drumming? Uh, I I try not I try Play to be, I try to be my yeah, that ingredient, you know mm -hmm. I'm I'm the the rhythm, and I you know I, I also control dynamics a lot of times with with the band, and I got to know when if I'm putting too much, too much or too little, um, and and listen to what everybody else got has going on, and then try to dictate what I do based off what them not just what I want. Yeah, so it's not you driving the dynamics as much as is trying to the sense. Yeah, I'm complimenting right. and and I'm yeah. trying to you know. Just add whatever helps bind it all together. So, less symbol. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes more. Right. Depends on what it depends yeah, on. Right. All need it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. To, let's go to Jesse on the bass. Uh, how, how about you? So in that in that number uh, that you guys just did a couple numbers, that three words uh, number. You well, just got that dumb. Yeah, dumb, it's very dumb. straightforward, and it's got to be raw. That's the whole point. You know, it needs to be this raw emotion. This just that just drives. Uh -huh. And that's kind of what I got to do. Uh -huh. So sometimes it means it's very, very simple and just thumps. And, uh, you know, I try to lay it down. Yeah, you do. You do. And, and what about, what about how, how you and the drummer work together? I got to tell you, Keith Green makes it easy. He, uh, you know, I, I think we gelled pretty quick when we started playing. And, uh, you know, sometimes I hang on to him for dear life and, you know, I, I always like where he takes me. He's, uh, it's a pretty sweet groove there. Uh, you got, you got to tell my origin story, Jesse. Origin story? What? <laughs> you were born Kalil of Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, when I was working at Union, uh, and Jesse comes into my office because uh, he was he, Jesse's in, in IT, and he's just set up my computer, and I think he <laughs> saw something on my desk. He's like, "Oh, hey, like I'm probably has a drum." <laughs> mouse pad or something because everything's drums in my life other than my children my family I love them anyway so good drums you don't drum really. on them all right yeah okay. and uh, Jesse was like hey you're a musician and then there you go <laughs> you <find it>. <laughs> <laughs> yes please we need to play please yeah. ah, <laughs> all right and that's our, our, our stew all right good well, okay good so that's you all right so I'm going to give uh, Andy and Daryl an opportunity to, to think more on this uh, on this idea and when we come back to have our, some more conversation after some more music, you guys can feel this. Get to it. Great to have you guys here. Really loving the music. All right, let's welcome back, folks, the Blue Crawdads. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the opportunity to be here with you tonight. This is, this is one off our uh, first EP. That EP is called Bluefield. And I said we were going to do one about uh, where we're from, 
and this is it. This is called Cumberland River Blues. to float along down that river I can still remember every bend and every show well, time might take me away from that river but can't take the river out of my soul Starts in Harlan County, land where I was born. Flows down through Pineville and Barberville too. That river might carry me far from my home. It always brings me back to the mountains and you. It's an old, old river By the time it gets to Nashville It's a long way from Harlan A long way left to roll It's been damned and mistreated Misused and abused That old Cumberland River Is the only cure for my blues Ever seen the sun shining on that water? Ever stopped in the shade of a sycamore tree? Well, even the willows would all stop their weeping if they could go back to that river with me. It's an old, old river By the time it gets to Nashville It's a long way from Harlan A long way left to roll It's been damned and mistreated Misused and abused That old Cumberland River Is the only cure for my blues Still hear the wind whistle through Wasiota. Still see the moon bow at Cumberland Falls. You might miss the Mississippi, get high on the Ohio, that old Cumberland River. Is the gem of them all It's an old, old river By the time it gets to Nashville It's a long way from Harlan A long way left to roll It's been damned and mistreated Misused and abused That old come Cumberland River is the only cure for my blues. That old Cumberland River is the only cure for my blues. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. One of our uh, many 
train songs. I think uh, I think you're just getting two train songs tonight. We cut down on the trains a little bit. Uh, this is called Train Out My Window. There's a train out my window. I can hear it moan from here. Train out my window. I can hear it moan from here. If I ever catch a train, Lord, I might, might just disappear. There's a road over yonder, go somewhere I know. Said there's a road over yonder, go somewhere I know. If I ever ride that road, Lord, I won't, won't be riding slow. Here's why. Because there's ships out on the ocean, there's planes up in the sky. And one of these days now, baby, I might ride right out and fly. There's a train out my window. I can hear it moan from here. If I ever catch that train, Lord, I might just disappear. out on the ocean and planes up in the sky and one of these days now baby I might light right out and fly there's a train out my window I can hear it moan from here if I ever catch that train if I ever catch that train I ever catch a train, Lord, I might just disappear. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We're going to do one that uh, um, Daryl wrote. Gosh, a long time ago, 26, 27 years ago. And uh, the original recording of it was with a band that Daryl and I were in back then, which was called the Horizontal Blues Band. And uh, after that band, we kind of both took a hiatus from music for a while. And then when, we, when I started kind of easing back into it, I actually was playing some little solo shows, coffee house shows, and I did that song some um, in a totally different arrangement from what we had done. Uh, done it in the horizontal blues band well then we started doing it with this band more or less in the arrangement that I had come up with and then when we recorded it 
it morphed into yet a third completely different arrangement. Same, uh, same lyrics and stuff, but um, I, I think you made the comment recently that you finally had it the way you wanted it. Yeah. Is there a, okay, so we're gonna try to do this. This is called Porch Light. Light on. I'm coming over. Turn your porch light on. I'm coming over. The sun has gone down. And the night is growing colder. The night is growing colder. I can see your body, baby, standing there in the doorway. Say, come on in, come on in, darling. No, I'll save your place any day, any hour. Well, it's never too late, never. Porch light on so I can find my way. I may need your shelter to come in from the rain. Right here, right. 
right here with you. Hey, before we get on with the second half of our program, we want to shout out for some of our sponsors, Chef Greg Scott and Broussard's Delta Kitchen, featuring authentic flavors of New Orleans and the Mississippi Delta, with live music every weekend on Main Street in historic Georgetown, Kentucky. Broussard's is also on Facebook. Listen locally working in concert with people to embrace opportunities, listen locally and engage in a variety of shared experiences, including music, theater, poetry, dialogue, and conversation. More on Facebook, Instagram, and listenlocally.net. The Griffin Gate Resort and Spa is our guest accommodation partner. They're located in the Marriott in the great city of Lexington. AccuPrint is providing printing, design, and fulfillment for Red Barn Radio. Online at accuprint.us. And now, folks, let's uh, get back to some music. Welcome to the second half of tonight's Red Barn Radio program. Red Barn Radio comes to you live from the Performance Hall here in downtown Lexington uh, at the Performance Hall at Arts Place. And we are so glad to have with us tonight the Blue Crawdads. Welcome them back. Thank you. You're very kind. This is the uh, title track from our first EP. This is called Broke Down in Bluefield. Bluefield, nothing in my pocket. Left the car with the highway, no need to lock it. Stuck out my thumb in the westbound lane. I was feeling like a fool, walking backwards in the rain. If I ever get back to Harlan, man, I guess that's where I'll stay. Broke down in Bluefield. I've had trouble all the way. Had a flat in Beckley, didn't have a spare. Man, when you're a stranger, well, there ain't nobody care. Paid a man three dollars to fix that flat. Took the last of my money just to get me where I'm at. If I ever get back to Harlan, man, I guess that's where I'll stay. I'm broke down in Bluefield. I've had trouble all the way. I'll talk to me about some trouble now.
Bluefield. Nothing in my pocket. I left the car by the highway. Couldn't, Couldn't see, see no need to lock it. I stuck out my thumb in the westbound lane. I was feeling like a fool walking backwards in the rain. If I ever get back to Harlan, man, I guess that's where I'll stay. down in Bluefield I've had trouble all the way Thank you Y'all go to big arena shows and stuff like that and you see that they got to uh, Roadies who rush out with guitars and change in a second. And well, this is why. Oh, so the roadies get paid? <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, don't push your luck here. <laughs> Unless she came in after. Uh, after the lights went down, I don't think my wife's here tonight, but this is, this is one that uh, was kind of inspired by my wife, Tina. She is from Indian Heights in Kokomo, Indiana, if anybody knows where that is. Even if you don't know where it is, that's still where she's from. <laughs> I'm gonna get up in the morning, roll on up to Kokomo. I'm gonna get up in the morning, roll on up to Kokomo. I'd stay here on Black Mountain, but I'm booked, I'm bound to go. Got everything that you want Right there in one town Got everything a man could want Right there in one town If they ain't got it in Kobamo Man, you better lay it down Oh, come on now, lay it down. How to treat me right I'm gonna get up in the morning Roll on up to Kokomo I'm gonna get up in the morning 
I'm gonna roll on up to Kokomo Stay here on Black Mountain, honey But I'm booked, I'm bound to go Thank you so much What about that slide guitar there? This is another one of those uh, transplants that, that uh, followed us from the Horizontal Blues Band. Um, this is actually was off the off of Horizontal Blues Band album a long time ago, and it's then off our first EP, Bluefield, as well. And uh, I want to, uh, I don't know if he's in the mood to tell the story, so I won't ask Daryl for the story tonight, but uh, He's got a pretty good story as to how this one came about. feel good. Baby. 
right down to the bone. so much. Here's Brad Becker to talk more with the Blue Crawdads. All right, thanks, Renee. Well, welcome back, everybody. I hope uh, you're enjoying the, enjoying the program. Uh, Blue Crawdads this evening, we're shaking it here in Arts Place here in Lexington, Kentucky with this great band. Um, so, Jesse and Keith, I thought, fielded the question on the table quite well. How do you play blues good? And um, now Andy and Daryl, you guys have had a lot of opportunity to really think this one through since you've had several songs to ponder it. Uh, <laughs> how, about, how about Andy, why don't, why don't you talk a little bit about, uh, about singing the blues? Uh, well, I'm trying to learn how to do that. <laughs> do you feel that way? Uh, well. For one thing, I don't, I don't think if you're singing or playing an instrument, I don't think you ever feel that you've really learned to do it. I mean, I think you're always trying to get better. Um, so, yeah, a little bit. But um, So you're a lifelong learner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Um, I, I think, um, you know, Wynton Marsalis has a, has a great line. He says, when it comes to American music, if it's good, it's got blues in it. Hmm. And you can, uh, I mean, you can think about, sometimes people say to us, well, you know, you guys are really authentic blues, or I'm sure sometimes that people don't say it to us, but say it to each other. Well, they're not really authentic blues. You know, I mean, you could have an opinion either way. But um, to us, I mean, we hear the blues, and I, I think this goes back to something Daryl was kind of suggesting earlier. We hear the blues in bluegrass, you know, we hear the mm -hmm. If, if we hear Virgil Bowen, or for that matter, if we went back and uh, uh, listened to Bill Monroe or any of the greats of bluegrass, we hear blues in what they were doing. Certainly there's lots of blues in country music. Um, going back to the question, as a, as a singer, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't flatter myself to think that I'm a, a blues singer in the sense that, say, Muddy Waters or B.B. Uh, King or somebody like that would have been. But I think it's a matter of... Um, I guess trying to trying to bring a certain feeling to it and a certain emotion, and uh, um, obviously, uh, again, I don't I don't think of myself certainly as a great singer, but I, I hope that I'm somebody who can inhabit these songs and uh, and bring some feeling to them. Well, exactly. I mean, they're your songs. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you know, you can you're right in the middle of your own songs, and, and to me, it's to me, it's just. Loud and loud and clear. I think everybody here Thank agree you. with that. Everybody agree. Thank like you. this singing, Thank beautiful you. singing. Yeah, I really like it. It's it's interesting. You know, with blues, you can um, you know you can s sing blues with a lot of different kind of voices, but it always seems like, well, no, never mind. I was gonna say it always seems like some of the most emotional blues come from some from from sort of the rougher hewn blues voices, but you know. There's an exception for every one of those. I mean, sure. it can be sung in so many different kinds of ways. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, there. Uh, obviously, if you listen to say, well, Muddy Waters again, who uh, um, occasionally we do Manish Boy, mm -hmm. and so I gotta, you know, get serious. Excuse me, I'm about to make noise here. I gotta get serious in Manish Boy about getting that. Woo! Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but then you listen to somebody like, like say, the, the great big band singer Joe Williams, not big Joe Williams, but the other Joe Williams, yeah. who uh, recorded a lot with Count Basie and stuff. I mean, he had a big, powerful voice, but he didn't, he didn't make it rough most of the time. It was very smooth. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, there's, there's lots of ways to do it. Marvin Gaye. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Daryl, talk to us. Can you talk to us a little bit about how um, how sort of it expresses itself? Is sort of your notion of of how you play you know blues properly? I know this, we're using the wrong words, right? But you know, how does that express itself in your guitar playing? Because to me, your guitar playing is just so so deep in there and so full of feeling. It's so rhythmic. I mean, there's just so much going on. But it, to me, it 
goes back to what, what Keith was saying about you guys listening to each other. What, what, what's your take on, on playing guitar in a blues band? Well, you, you actually just answered the question. You know, it's, 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 it's <laughs> What a great just, interviewer. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a feeling. And, you know, it's, to me, it's listening to those that have kind of made the mark on the music that you're inspired mm. by. So, you know, listening to Muddy Waters. Uh, for me, it's Otis Rush and Freddie King. Uh you know, BB, you know, so it's, it's the typical answer, but it's, it, it can't come from any place else, but where it all began, yeah. and electric guitar is from those guys, you know, mm -hmm. and so you, you have to listen to them, and listen to their influences, and, and not mimic what they're doing, but yeah, right. You know, under feel their you know the feelings that that they're the emotion that you're they're trying to express and they're playing. So how did you find blues, blues music as a young person? To me, uh, for me, it was Stevie Ray Vaughan, ah. and it was initially mm -hmm. Stevie Ray Vaughan directly, and then realizing where his influences came from, mm -hmm. and starting d to dig into his influences, into their influences, and so forth. So. That, that for a lot of people in my generation in the 80s, that kind of opened the doors up to other artists that you never would have heard of. It was kind of the cyclical thing of not really realizing that there was a Otis Rush and a Freddie King and yeah, then right. Stevie Ray Vaughan would come along and, oh, where did he come from? What did he listen to? You know, and you, you discover all these artists that you didn't know about. Yeah, there was such an yeah. amazing sort of resurgence, right, of, exactly. of blues stuff happening during that time you're just talking yeah. about. You know, the, mm -hmm. you know, not Stevie Ray, but his brother and the Thunderbirds, and right. you know, and and the harmonic playing of, of Kim Wilson, and then then John Lee Hooker came out and Santana, you know, and John Lee Hooker did the album right. together. All of a sudden, it's like, what oh, blues, blues, and it's it is an amazing thing, right? Yeah. We all start digging back again. Where's that all come from? That's right. cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, do you have any training in, in uh, music theory or anything like that, or are you self-trained? Self-taught, self yeah. but just listening, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and trying to copy what I hear and things like that. Huh. But uh, my dad was a piano player, so I grew up hearing music all the time. Uh, he played gospel, boogie-woogie. Uh -huh. He played show tunes. He would play whatever, you know, uh, so I grew up listening to music all the time. Uh, Thanks, Dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then meeting Andy was... Um, was amazing because he opened up a lot of um, things that I never would have heard. You know, hearing people like Bob Dylan for the first time. Oh. You know, I, I never would have discovered that without meeting Andy. Uh, John Prine. Uh, huh. Even people like Bo Diddley, you know, was introduced to me, you know, through befriending Andy. And so, you know, it's it's kind of just the listening as I'm as I'm continuing to say that that my uh, exposure to music and my playing comes from yeah and so how do you so you guys keep uh, pretty busy with uh, with this band the 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 four of you uh, there there are enough sort of venues that like blues music uh, that that showcase blue, blues music that it keeps you guys playing as much as you would like to play really where That'd be great. Well, if you could just get me some notes on that, I'd love to have some addresses, phone numbers. Well, <laughs> that's, Jesse, that's Jesse's response to that question. No, I mean, do you guys get to play as much as you'd like to, or would you like to be playing more often, um, or are you just about as much time as you can give to it? We, uh, when, we're, when we're going full on, which we're not quite at the moment, but when we're going full on, we do actually play quite a bit. And sometimes we're as busy as we'd want to be, and, and sometimes we aren't. Actually, though, it was kind of a surprise to me, and I think to Daryl as well, that uh, the last time we had been in a blues band together was kind of at the tail end of that Stevie Ray uh -huh. resurgence, and there were blues clubs here and there and so forth, and so that was kind of a shock to us, I think, coming back and finding out, wait a minute, that's not there anymore. Uh -huh. um, but luckily, we, we do find some other venues, so uh -huh. we... Uh, like I say, when we, when we have time to do it, we're, we're out there about as much as we want to be. Actually, these guys, Jesse and Keith, and especially Keith, uh, are gigging 
like they've probably got four other gigs tonight after the <laughs> after the show. Well, that uh, death metal type bands or yeah, that kind of your thing. I'm a drummer for hire, always. <laughs> but this is my this is my heart right here, uh, being a crawdad for sure. Yeah, it's my number one priority musically, for sure. Uh, and uh, and and I, I express that to all the. I mean, I'm very fortunate to play with a lot of musicians uh, and bands and things throughout Kentucky, and uh, I've been very fortunate with that, but they all know that, you know, when the crawdads call is kind of where I need to be, so. Nice. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're glad about that. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're glad you're here. And did you, uh, did you drum in high school, the marching band, the whole business, or when did you start playing and, and uh, how? I, st I started playing as a teenager in church you know, oh. I did that kind of day. I played saxophone in high school, marching band. Uh -huh. I wasn't cool enough to play the drums, but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'd be extra cool for that. Uh, but uh, but I learned that's how I learned music theory and things, playing uh, in the school symphonic band and marching band oh. and stuff. And then uh, just that passion just kept. I had great parents who supported me and my siblings to let us do, to express ourselves in our garage with all our noise and stuff. You know, so uh, and then uh, just meeting other new new people. Everywhere I went, we moved around somewhat. So, you know, I lived on both coasts, and now I'm here in Kentucky. And Yeah. You know. Here to stay? Yeah, I would think so. Unless, you know, Sting brings me to Paris or something like that. I don't we know. never know. You we never know, know what he's going to do. Just give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you, you teach at Union? Uh, no, I don't teach at Union. I actually work for an organization called KCEOC. Okay. So I'm no longer with uh, Union College. I, I, I'm a, I run a youth work program there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Were you, did you have any... Um, did you have any part, a different, kind of a different subject, did you have any part in, in helping this band decide that they were going to uh, record a Christmas album? Yeah, my <laughs> family is definitely Christmas-holics. <laughs> we got, I mean, you know, Jesus' reason for the season for sure, but, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, everything else goes before our family. I mean, we're, we're big. And so when uh, the idea came about, I kind of don't remember. Uh, Andy's kind of more the historian for everything, but well, I don't remember <laughs> how we came up with the concept. I just knew I was definitely on board. Well, when it came when it came about. Well, you know, so that every time I see Leo Kotke, the acoustic guitar player, play, he always tells the, the great story. He always says, you know, I, the reason I think everybody comes to see me play still is because I've never recorded a Christmas album, <laughs> and, and or, or he says an, a Christmas album or, or an album with uh, chick singers, is what <laughs> Leo Kotke says. Uh, how did you? So how, how did you? <laughs> how did you decide uh, to do the Christmas album and and um, you know? Would you give uh, advice to a young band to, to just go down, throw down a Christmas album because they're always going to sell at the holidays? Or Listen, here's the thing. What's your... <laughs> this you is got a, a band, you're going to sell out in one of two ways. You're going to make a greatest hits album or you're going to make a Christmas album, and we wanted to get that over with early. <laughs> <laughs> so, has, the, has the... No, tell me really, though. Has the, um, has the, the Christmas album sold, uh, Andy? Has that been a good thing for you to have... Right around Christmas, it actually sells a little bit, but that's the only time. Do you have any? You don't have any for sale here today. No, actually, <laughs> people uh, like to get their shopping done yeah, early these yeah, days. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Jesse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we uh, but, yeah, we don't we don't have our merch with us tonight. But you can but, get it on online though. Yes, it's, yeah. it's available oh. online. You absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> Was it CD Baby? <laughs> CD, ba CD Baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. Band, band camp. All right, enough of the Christmas album stuff. All right, you guys, it has been so great having you here, and I can't wait and, uh, until the time when you can come back with a whole new set of music. I can't wait to hear all your, all your records and the stuff that you have already recorded. Uh, I know those listening to the program are going to track down the Blue Crawdads, and especially that cool number that we talked about, A Closer Walk With Thee with Virgil Bolin. Yeah. Which is Again, on YouTube. That's on YouTube. Check that out. And we do sell. We do have CDs of it when we have our march here. But uh, and the CDs look like a little 45, so it's kind of cool. Welcome back to Blue Crawdads, folks. Thank you. Keith is thankfully reminding me I need to tell you the song. This is a new one. It's called Had the Lick. Get to church on Sunday, but sure made Saturday night. 
might not show for work on Monday. Too much wrong to get right. Feeling like a dog tied out in the rain. Nowhere to go, just stretching my chain. Found to lose just as sure as I try. Carry me to Tennessee Lord, I felt like I was in heaven When you were here with me but Now I'm nothing but a, a drunken-hearted fool Pitching pennies, shooting pool but Wasting time is my profession Reckon I had the leg Another brand new one. Second train song of the night. Sometimes we do a whole set of train songs, but because it ain't blues if it ain't going nowhere. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is I don't know if this is about a train or if this is the name of a train. We wrote it, but we don't know what it's about. This is called Cold Iron Special. Some horn blowing 
blue as hell That's just my way of telling you I wish you well You know I'd hang around, honey Till it comes the tide I got the cold iron special The Gulf Coast on my mind Well, if you stop by my kitchen just to get you a taste, all your good loving gonna go straight to waste. Nothing's cooking, ain't nothing southern fried. I got the cold iron special, feel like I'm bound to die. I'm gonna hop that train now. Bring me cornbread too. I can sit right down to supper, make a meal out of you. Bring me some catfish, a sweet potato pie. I might turn on the sweet talk, but I cannot tell a lie. And you hear that train rumbling down the track. You can bet the farm, honey, I ain't never coming back. Feats don't fail me. I got miles to ride. I got the cold iron special. Got rambling on my mind. I got the cold iron special. The Gulf Coast on my mind. I got the cold iron special Feel like I'm bound to die Appreciate it. We're going to do the title track now of our latest DP, Take You There. And this is kind of a spoiler, but we actually meant to talk to the tech folks and tell them this to start with, and we forgot, so I'm just going to tell everybody. This song has a coda, so when you think it's over, it's not. <laughs> Not too fast, not 
not too slow I sure do like the scenery Oh Shenandoah, where did you come from? You sure do make my motor hum There's no better time for some VIP Cause it's a top down piston pumping love affair Chauffeur. Spend some time with Mr. Big Sir. This long, long road will give you what you need. Well, it's a little on the curvy side. Cuddle up and honey, let's ride. From coast to coast, we're gonna rock and roll. It's a top down piston pumping love affair. Oh, I'll take you there. I'm gonna take you all the way, honey. I'm gonna take you all the way home. Get you. Take you there. I'm coming to get you. Take you there. Gonna take you home. Take you there. Gonna take you home. Take you there. I won't take you. Take you. Take you. Take you there. Take you there. I won't take you. Take you. Take you. Take you there. Take you there. I won't take you. Take you there. Take you there. I won't take you. Take you there. Take you there. I won't take you. Take you there. Take you there. I won't take you. Take you there. We have arrived. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take you all the way, honey. All the way home to Thank you so much. Thank you, Red Barn. We appreciate y'all. Come back and see us again. And we hope to come back here.
Well, Brad, that sure was a lot of fun. We would like to thank Andy, Daryl, Jesse, and Keith, the Blue Crawdads, for being with us this evening. We also thank our volunteers for their help with our production each week. We give a very special thanks to Becky Alfrey for her work with our social media and the photography of Nick Lazaroff. Thank you all for listening to our webcast, for watching us on YouTube Live, and those listening to us on the Red Barn Network of Stations. Thanks to WEKU, Red Barn Radio's official radio partner serving Central and Eastern Kentucky. WEKU is Kentucky's NPR station. Listen online at WEKU.FM. It's your chance to hear more great live Kentucky music from Red Barn Radio and WEKU. We also thank the members of our studio audience for supporting the mission of Red Barn Radio, <laughs> which strives to present, promote, and preserve the rich musical tradition of this Kentucky region and share it with the world. Red Barn Radio comes to you live from the Performance Hall here at Arts Place in the great city of Lexington, Kentucky. Our website has updates and further information on our show and our programs. We're on the web at redbarnradio.com. Tickets for Red Barn Radio are now available at eventbrite.com Lexington. Next week here on the Red Barn stage, Josh Brown and the Hard Living Legends. The band is an alternative country band grown in small town Kentucky. The band is Josh Brown on vocals and guitar, Mike Moore on lead guitar, Corey Neese on vocals, lead guitar and banjo, and Ian Ellerbrock on bass, Bobby Hunt on drums. That's all here next week on Red Barn Radio. I don't know, do we think we could talk them into an encore? Yeah. Let's hear one more song from the Blue Call Dad. Thanks so much. We're going to do you one called Backdoor Man. Backdoor man, if you have the time. Be your backdoor man, if you have the time. You get tired of me, I'm gonna move on down the line. I don't know where I came from, don't know where I've been. See me before, you're bound to see me again. Be your backdoor man, if you have the time. Tired of me, I'm gonna move on down the line. Let's move on down the line now. And I was soon like days I could love you, honey, in so many ways Be your backdoor man You have the time You get tired of me I wanna move on down the line I'll be your backdoor man I'll be your backdoor man Be your backdoor man I'll be your backdoor man Be your backdoor man I'll be your backdoor man Be your backdoor man I'll be your backdoor man Be your backdoor man well, if you have the time
much. Good night. We appreciate it. The Blue Crawdad. Blue Crawdad. Well, that's all from Red Barn Radio tonight, live from Lexington, Kentucky, folks. You can see and hear us worldwide as we stream live on the web on YouTube, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern in North America. Our program is also available on the WEKU app. Check out Red Barn Radio On Demand. And now from here of us, here from all of us at Red Barn Radio, to all of our friends worldwide, it is our hope that you have a terrific week. Until next time, go well.